Okay, so story time. Where do I start? Um, okay, so if you know me, you know that my name is Roots. That's like my real name. But when I moved to America, I I changed it because um, it was just so many questions and I just got tired of it. And Rika is my mom's name, so it's only fair that I take it. Okay, so um, I did study law. Let me sit down well and balance because this is some story. So I did study um, law in Nigeria and after um when i finished i decided to move to cape town um to stay for i mean i i studied law in nigeria and i decided to move to cape town to just travel explore and also like um make use of this new opportunity i got as well in cape town i was with 20 management 20 is like a really nice agency as well in cape town south africa but i mostly left nigeria because um you know how you just know something is not for you like you you just feel it in your in your heart like in your bones like ever since i arrived into consciousness i was just i just didn't understand how the country worked and i was just like jesus christ this is the ghetto <laughs> get me out of here so I, i'd always been researching and researching ways to actually um you know just do something else so I did move to Cape Town for a year to um, explore that opportunity. And when I finished, I moved to America. But what I don't tell you about America is when you come here, it's like totally different from like what you thought is the norm, you know? So when I, when I moved here, like it was such a huge culture shock for me. And I just had to learn how to like do so many different things and learn how to like quickly adapt and figure out what i wanted to do and everything so when i came i i knew that i didn't want to model i felt it so strongly in my heart and even to this day like people like oh my god see me and they're like oh you're modeling I'm, when i while, while i wasn't so i would just like probably just shy away from me because like god just has a way of um redirecting you even like when you think that you want something he's just there um behind the scenes saying i mean no this is not what i want for you yet but um i heard god tell me to leave leave it for a while because when i came i i didn't know what i wanted to do like america <laughs> america is a wild place like america is something like when i came you know like it's like you have to quickly find your fit. You have to quickly find your balance. Like you have to quickly get a job. Like you have to be on top of it. Because if you're not on top of it, like you're just going to crumble. But like I mean, when I first came, like I I was having so much fun. Like I used to live in Brooklyn at the time, and it was just you know it was just freedom. It was it was just it was not it was God. It was mind blowing. You know, I had this um, apartment with roommates and it was it was crazy. Like, we were all young and free. And it was, I had to check myself, like, wait, Jesus, hold on. Like, what's going on here? Like, you're a human being and you're actually, like, you're a person. So, I, I, need, I, need, I needed that, like, real shift. So, yeah, I, you know, got a job, you know, started um, exploring different, like, fields that I wanted to do. Um, I tried restaurants i tried law firms i tried so many different things and i was just like i just didn't know where i fit in and at the time i didn't have the you know i didn't have like the time and the energy to actually really pursue modeling so i just i and i just heard good like i just really heard good i just heard that you need a break and I, honestly i needed a break to be honest because like a lot of people think oh my god modeling is modeling is fun don't get me wrong it's fun you know you you you, you get exposed to like so many things like you meet so many different people like you know everyone's on the same journey like it's 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 nice it's but like 
it's not really if you're not really booking things or like if you don't have like nice campaigns or like you're not doing like the top shows you're not really making money and i wasn't at the time and a lot of people would think oh my god because she's she's because she's on this runway or because she's on this she's no that's not that's really not how it is so like i knew that i wanted to do something else and like model as a hobby because modeling is it's it's for me personally like it's like a nice hobby let me just put it like that okay so um came to america um started throwing different things i working and like really working at, to um you know finding my ground and everything i actually discovered like my other um passion something else that i actually really do enjoy doing is you know being in restaurants and like just meeting people and you know experiencing things and you know food and beverage is one of my other passion as well but that's what we're talking about today so we're talking about how i actually got signed to my now yes 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 before i um digress that the english so um when covid hits when covid hits you know covid kind of like forced everybody to you know it's like what do you really want to do with your life you know there's no jobs now you know everything is like quiet right now So when COVID hit, I I had like this um, this moment of self reflection, and I heard God again. I know this sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy, but I actually do hear God. Like, do, does, does anyone ever have like those um, moments where you just be doing something and you just hear boom you just hear god but i, I did hear god to be honest because it was it was it was a lot of peace and quiet and it was a lot of like self-reflection and like what do you want to do with your life this is that and i'm like what would i do actually just being happy and just being myself without having to like oh my battery it just alerted me okay i hope i can do this before it dies so you know it's like what do you really want to do um what can you do like what's gonna make you happy and everything so i i just thought back to when i was like 16 and i was like fuck i think i can actually be an actress like that's actually what i've always wanted to do but you know growing up in nigeria like when you tell your parents <laughs> what do you really want to do just look at you i'm like hmm. anyway i remember that when i was like younger because I remember having like a conversation with my father at the time. Like we actually had to sit down and he was like, okay, so you know your age, what do you want to do? And I'm like, oh my God, daddy, I want to I wanna go, I want to go and study um, theater arts. And the man looked at me like, he didn't, he didn't actually judge me. He just looked at me and said, hmm, you're going to be a lawyer. And I was just like, yes, I'm going to be a lawyer. You know, <laughs> I just skipped, I just stopped talking about it. And that's actually how I do law. Then eventually I, you know, fell in love with it and just went through it. But then I was like, if that conversation had went differently and he just like, you know, enrolled me into school to actually say tenor arts, maybe now nah, I won't be actually trying to discover my true passion. But anyway, that's that's what happened. And I was like, okay, so maybe I can actually start pursuing this, you know, and everything. So um, I signed up to start taking like acting classes. You know, I started Googling shit. Like I'm always Googling. Google, Google is is a fantastic resource, you guys. Like, there's no answer in this life that you don't find on google but anyway so i started googling you know i'm i'm, I'm just googling dumb shit like how to be an actress <laughs> dumb shit like like acting in new york like acting or like this that you know? and google was telling me it's like number one create a resume number two create a reel which i i don't currently have but hopefully i'll do that soon but you know, it's just so many things that Google tells you to do and everything. So I was like, okay, great, great. Mm, mm, mm. So I was watching this dude, um, Lakey, is it Lakey or Lakey Stanfield? I can't really pronounce it. I don't know his pronunciation, but such a great guy. He was just, he was just, he's also on Google, I mean, on YouTube telling us how he started. He's like, oh, so I went on Google. I was just checking out different things, seeing, you know, different things, looking at different things that I wanted to do. Mm. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Cool. so he said something he was like oh if you want to be an actor or an actress like try different showcases and a showcase is something that you um 
it's something that that um a lot of creatives do or go to to actually get discovered by like talent agents and all of these things that's what a showcase is so i'm, I'm so oh, showcase okay what's that how to what is a showcase literally and everything comes up and i was just typing on instagram after that showcase after then this um amazing um program i just saw it came up it's called um talent inc i'm like oh my god what is this i was really skeptical i was like hmm, 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 hmm. what's this what's this what's going on what's going on what's going on so i i clicked on it and i saw that they were actually doing auditions this is this, that so i clicked on that too and i registered and everything and from there you know we had like a we had like different like preliminary um things like you first meet meet like the directors first then after that you meet you know um another person so it was really nice and you know they i kind of got in and everything found out the requirements you know it was a lot but like it was it was so so much information but i was like hmm okay let me see let, let's just let's just try it so i did and um eventually we were all supposed to all the artists and everybody was supposed to come to florida in orlando to actually do the showcase so they'll send you scripts they, they paired me with like a same partner shout out to gabby and yeah um so yeah we just kept on following up with each other like rehearsing and like something about the process is it's not like it's just the beauty about seeing all of these people who also believe in the same thing just did something for me like it wasn't even like oh my god what's going on here it was just seeing so many people it's like everybody's just coming together for the arts you know it was just it was just something magical about it that i i just really really enjoyed so listen to where it gets very tricky i went there for acting you no know? i went there for something totally different i went there for for acting to actually see let's see if i can even do this thing you know and you know from there i got something else which was um incredible and it's just crazy because i wasn't even looking like life happens in different ways i'm telling you like when you're not looking for some things when god will now say hey now is the time when i when i came that time i probably could have been ready or i thought i would have been ready but like i just got so overwhelmed with like with like just being situated that i just forgot so now then i we did the showcase um at the end of the showcase you know it was really nice you know a lot of us got recognized which was great incredible um there were a lot of acting conservatories there as well the agent from wilhelmina was there as well um so at the showcase afterwards you, you get like a callback a callback is like um something that agents like the agents are interested in you call you back to come to come to see where your head's at like see if they can work with you and see you know just just like just like a um how do you people call it um like a callback it's just like to, for you to just come back to see what's going on like oh we saw you at the showcase and were interested or what where are you based all of these and i was in florida at the time so i got the call back from a couple agents um i got with mina i got i think it's nomad and a couple other like acting i got a call back from the new york conservatory i got a call back from another agency called manking a couple of really nice um agencies were there so uh, i remember i remember during the callback i i was so nervous kemi my i met this amazing girl too kemi who's like my nigerian sister now shout out to kemi you know i was so nervous i was like oh my god kemi even like at the, at the actual showcase i was shy i was like oh my god kemi she came i was like make it like just stop <laughs> just stop I'm like no don't go just stop i'm so shy jesus because like we had to wear bikinis we had to wear different things and it was just it was just like it was so many people it was so many people but you know so at the callback um you know I, I i talked to the to one of the agents there um i was going to it, it's like all of them sit like on different um panels and you just go 
you know, hey, hi, so you at the show, kids? Like, yeah, you know, so it was, it was nice, it was nice. So I was nervous, obviously, because like that was the last day of the show, because I had to fly back to New York. So I went there and I met with the with the agent, uh, with Amina. Shout out to Gary, amazing, amazing agent, and Rachel, of course. So um, he was like, he was like, um, hi, how are you? I'm like, great, I'm fine. Then he was like, okay, so where are you based? Like, we're in New York. I'm like, first of all, I'm like, are you guys actually with me now, with me now? Or like, <laughs> you know, I was just too. I was still asking stupid questions. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Because I didn't know anything. I, I had left the game for so long. So, um, eventually we agreed to meet in New York, you know, for a go see. And I gave them this headshot. Let me show you guys. This is like my, my headshots. Can you see it? Yes, I print. Well, at the trick is you have to like print out like thirty or thirty five of these um headshots and just like pass it around to people, to agents and everything. So he had this with him. So he wrote. I think he wrote my name and like if they're interested in you, they write your name so that they can remember your headshot. Let me show you. What was it you can see? I actually really like this. I got this in Cape Town, which is so cool. Okay, so. So, Sha, after that, we met in New York. Um, my mother agent now, who is um, Rachel Murray, she she organized everything. You know, she told me where to meet Gary. I went to the Wilhelmina office at the um, Hudson Yards. And that day, I was just not feeling myself. I don't know why. Because I, I took out my hair. Like, I had, like, like, like a really nice, not braids now. I had, like, like, ponytail, like this like if you go on my twitter you see one photo where i just have black Sha, that's it that's that's there so i went i just went you know gary is so sweet like i i stopped at um this french bakery i got like a really nice um lemon plum cake because i was just i was i didn't know what to do <laughs> i didn't know what to do so i was just like okay 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 mm -mm -mm. so and i just wanted to just Sure appreciation honestly it was not it was nothing so I, and I'm, i work hospitality so i like food i like the act of actually someone eating i just like it so i just got them something like a cake for them to actually enjoy so yeah i got to the office took a couple polaroids took a couple photos took a couple of these took a couple of everything you know totally um gary asked me what my you know what my plan was and i told him i'm like hey so i'm actually trying to be an actress you know this is where my head's at right now you know and he was like yeah of course like it's all encompassing you know a lot of actresses are models a lot of these are that and I, I already spoke to rachel about it which is who is my mother um agent so she she already like um explained to me how show business works like it's all encompassing like it all goes together so yeah and after that i didn't hear anything for a long time so i was like oh great of course of course you know i'm just gonna focus on like um doing on my acting classes and like just immersing my immersing myself in like the entire process and everything and then rachel calls me no she texted me um sometime one time while i was at work and she's like yeah do you have time to jump on a quick call and i at my and I tell you, my chest was way up. I didn't even know why my chest was up and beating like that. So I was just like, oh my god, 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 oh my god. So, um, yeah, we couldn't get on the phone because I was at work. So we had to, like, reschedule. So eventually when she called me, she was like, Rikia, I have your contract already. I've just been trying to get in touch with you. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, wait, what? Like, everything just i really was not expecting to be honest like i was just because i was just i just wasn't looking you know and god just has a way of just aligning things even though i thought it wasn't for me like i, I just you know prayed about it and you know still learning but yeah yeah Rick, um rachel is a great um mother agent and like she's just like been so encouraging and she's just talked to me and also um during COVID, like when COVID hit and I just was reflecting, you know, it's good to have people that just encourage you to stay like on the path, you know? 
they're included um she i mean i i don't know i was just reaching out to my old very old um agent that i used to work with when i first moved to america I actually he flew me out to detroit to do this show for him in michigan and i was just like trying to get back into show business i didn't know how i just knew that like with acting and like because acting is about the show i know that like it's 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 public perception it's image so i i reached out to him I'm like hey robert shout out to robert i i'll send him this video so i was like hey you know and that's why i believe so much in relationships and like in creating like strong connections and to just having people that believe in you around you because sometimes like you don't even know sometimes and it's just one word of encouragement that actually you know helps you i remember i was telling him i was like hey Ricky, i didn't even know you were back in america i'm like yeah i've been back like i've just been i've been back i've just been here like i don't know what i'm doing and now covid is here like what's going on he's like so why are you mulling or what i'm like nope i'm not mulling i'm not doing anything um i kind of like took a long break because i needed to go figure out you know my entire existence and everything and he was like oh yeah great so you think about going back i'm like should I? I don't know. What do you think? I was like, girl, I'm putting you on my board right now. So he, he like immediately just put me up on his website. Like I didn't even have to ask him. And that just like meant so much to me. Like even though I wasn't sure at the time, like I, I just didn't know what I wanted to do. And he just, you know, fired me up and just said, girl, say no more. I'm putting you up on my board right now. He's a friend of mine in New York. I want you to meet. Like his, I was just like, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. This is why I ran away in the first place. Cause like sometimes like, it gets really overwhelming and i know it's hard to believe but i have anxiety i i have like sometimes i have like social anxiety so i, I have the tendency to disappear like this <laughs> i do have a tendency to disappear like, by disappearing i mean it's not like i'm sad or anything it's just it's just that and like that that closure that i need so i need to just poof go away so yeah that happened then you know, when I got the entire women out thing, I, I told him and he was so excited for me. And, you know, it's just that we all need people. Like, we all need that sense of community. And it's great. But, yeah, that's my story. Uh, this is the part where I motivate people. Okay, yeah. So, let me also motivate anyone there that's, like, thinking, oh, my God, should I do this or should I not do it? I would say, listen to your heart um listen to whatever your heart says nine times out of ten it's always right like do what do what feels right to your soul like don't listen to people judging you like oh my god she's supposed to be no 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 just do whatever you want like if if your mind is telling you to to keep pursuing this like keep doing that like yeah of course um if it's telling you to to leave like disappear or like don't do it for a while don't do it for a while like i did i i didn't do it for a while i left you know i left the industry i know because like i i was just coming from cape town like i had just moved to new york and it's like oh my gosh she's in new york now she's supposed to be at fashion to be... no honey my, my heart was telling me don't this is not the time like just disappear and i literally just did <laughs> and, and it felt so it felt so freeing. It felt so good. I I learned so much about myself. I I found out about so many things I like and don't like. You know, I found a different love. Like I found hospitality. I found restaurants. Like I found so many things that I actually absolutely absolutely enjoy. So I would say it's okay to disappear. It's okay to to do what is true to your soul and just keep breathing yeah keep breathing that's literally it anyway thank you to rachel for actually making this happen um right now where my head's at is trying to navigate and figure out how you know this journey can bring real um purpose how I can bring like purpose to to me, how I can actually use this to align. Okay, I don't think this English is coming out right, but what I mean is 
I would love I'm trying to figure out my thoughts. I would love to I would love for this opportunity to be able to help me to harness my true purpose. You know, which is telling stories and creating memories and you know just existing. I know it's not coming out right right now because I'm still trying to figure it out. But once I do, I'll organize my thoughts together. But I am grateful. I'm thankful for alignment. Alignment is real, yo. Like, alignment is so real. And, like, what's for you just never, ever passes you by. That's that's just what I feel. So, yeah. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Scott. Chris. Chris. Chris from Talent Inc. I love you. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's the story. That's really the story. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Oh. See, crackhead is back. Bye guys.